In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create a checkout page within your Kajabi account to try and increase the conversion and ultimately the number of sales you are getting. Most online business owners just simply want more leads and more sales in their business, but it's not until you put more offers out in front of those leads that you will actually increase your chances of making more revenue. So hey there, Tim here, and I've built out multiple six-figure businesses in the past, and I currently use Kajabi as my platform of choice to help my current clients build out their businesses. And the single most important page on their website is their offer or their checkout page. And in order for me to show you how I build out my checkout pages, I'm gonna jump straight on over into Kajabi and show you step by step. So here we are inside my Kajabi account. And all you need to do if you have Kajabi is click into your sales and then click on offers in the sub menu and then just click on an offer or create new offer if you haven't built out any before. Now, the most important thing to note here is your offers are not directly linked to your products. They are separate. So you can have actually multiple products linked to an offer. So your aim here is to try and make an irresistible offer to your audience or to your subscribers. So it's a no brainer for them to take you up on this offer. Now here I'm just using a free offer. So my free Kajabi unboxed mini course that I offer people who sign up to Kajabi using my link. If you wanna check that out, head on over to timpeakman.com forward slash Kajabi to get the latest bonuses that I offer. But I'm just gonna be using this offer just to showcase how I would build out a stupidly simple offer to try and make it a no brainer for my audience. So first of all, then we have the details tab. And like I said, you need to link a product to an offer. So just think of products and offers as two separate entities. Now for this Kajabi Unboxed offer, it's it's actually good practice for me to actually link up the product Kajabi Unboxed. So I've put together a mini course within Kajabi, Kajabi Unboxed. So I've just literally added this product to this offer. So as soon as someone gets this offer or actually checks out with this page, they will then get immediately granted this digital course. Now, a couple of options here, product access, you can either be begin access at a specific date or you can restrict access uh, to a specific amount of days. Now, this is typically if you're taking a cohort of people uh, through a program, but this for me, um, this is a, an evergreen product for me, so anyone can do this at their own pace, so I, I'm not gonna use any of those. Scrolling down then, post-purchase, where do you send them? So you've got a few options here. You can either send them straight to the product library page, or you can have a, an existing thank you page or an existing landing page. Um, if you wanted to create something custom that you would offer them uh, either an upsell or something else or a thank you uh, for actually purchasing, but I've just gone for the members product library, so it will go straight into their account. Now, post purchase email, this is a free offer, so they, they won't have to purchase anything, but they just purchase with that email address. Um, I just send out a default email. You can either have a custom email, so you can actually build out a custom uh, thank you email, uh, or you can just have none. But it's always good to follow up with someone uh, as soon as they have actually converted uh, and accessed one of your products. So I send out the default email. And then an automation, it's always good here. I use a an email sequence. So I've uh, actually crafted a new customer sequence. So I have new subscriber sequences to actually send out to those who actually subscribe to my list. And then new customer sequences to anyone that actually purchases an offer. So this is a new customer sequence directly uh, to anyone that's actually signed up to Kajabi Unboxed. So as soon as they purchase this or sign up with their email, they get added into an email sequence going forward. So just off to the right here, we have offer status. So this is a published offer. You can build them out in draft and then you can grab the link here to share on social or share in any of your emails that you see fit. And then the pricing here, I've just got um, with within the pricing, obviously there's, there's a little thumbnail that I've just designed in Canva, super simple. Uh, could y'all be unboxed and a little graphic, but then you can edit the, the pricing here. So if I just click edit, it will actually go across to the next tab. So I've just named it as internal title and external title, same. I've kept it super simple. The image, 
uh, recommended dimensions there. Kajabi give you that. So just upload your thumbnail. And then the payment types, you can either have a one-time payment, multiple payments, or a subscription. But like I said, this is a free product that I gift anyone that signs up to Kajabi using my link. And then here, I prefer to use the, the Stripe integration. You have a Stripe and a PayPal option. Stripe takes on all major credit cards or debit cards, anything like that. So um, I tend to prefer to use Stripe for all my payments, but you can obviously link up your PayPal account here if you see fit. And then a limited offer. If you're sending out a, um, a course and you actually want a a time limit or a quantity so you want to provide a bit of scarcity so if you're doing a launch of a product you only want 30 students in you can set this to actually 30 um, or if it's a deadline you, you don't want this offer to be published uh, after a certain time you can actually put a time limit on there too upsells i will i haven't actually got an upsell in in this offer because it's a free offer but i will be creating more content in the future about upsells um, so look out for those settings these are the types of settings that I use within this offer. Uh, so you can either send them to a third party email provider. I keep things stupidly simple and I use the Kajabi email provider. So don't check that one. Get notified when a purchase has been made. So if anyone signs up to this free offer, I then send myself an email. You can either send a team member an email just to make them aware that someone's actually converted and then send cart abandonment emails. This is really, really key. For, for me, I send them out an email six hours after, so I just automate that. If somebody is looking at the offer and if they get distracted, um, it's always good just to follow up with them, say, hey, we noticed that you checked out the offer. Um, you know, Here's your chance to, to go and uh, complete that offer. And then active affiliate commissions. If, you, if you're running a paid product, this is only for a paid product, you can then uh, send out affiliate commissions to people promoting your product. So you can give them a percentage of this affiliate so they're all the settings with within the actual offer itself i'm going to go to edit checkout and we're going to actually see how this offer presents so all you do here is click edit checkout and again i've kept it stupidly simple i've got the thumbnail you could actually put a video in here but most of my youtube videos actually point to this so i've just kept it stupidly simple with a thumbnail and then a bit of text so kajabi unboxed is the name of the product um, this program will walk you through. So this is what you're going to get if you actually start this program. So I've kept it in three main parts, how to set up your account, how to draft your or craft your products, and then how to create your offer for those products. So at any stage here, you can click preview, and then it will show you how it's going to preview if someone was to click on this offer. So I'm just going to take you down the left-hand side. So the page content, uh, this is where you edit the actual offer title and then the offer description. If you want some HTML, you can click into this and actually add in some HTML. But um, this actually allows you to edit it pretty simply. And then the call to action is simply add your best email address and click complete my purchase or sign up for free, however you want to do this. Then the design, you've got the options here to actually add your your design colors so remember your color palette make sure that you're using you're keeping within brand on everything you do especially your offers to try and keep it as simple as possible you have an option of uh, putting in a banner here i actually um i just get rid of the banner you could actually put some more branding in this banner but uh, i tend to just leave it out to try and keep it as simple as possible i just think it takes up more space um and then any sort of logos in in that banner you you can design as well so the form fields, this is really important. So this is the, the details that you're going to capture within your offer. So if I, if I collected name, collected address and collected phone number, just have a look at the, the free offer here. All I'm asking it currently is for the email address. So if I click save, this would then be asking me for email address, full name, uh, line one address, apartment, suite, city, uh, like where they are and the phone number. So if you just think back to if you've uh, done any sort of uh, opt-in landing pages or squeeze pages, the least amount of information that you're going to ask for actually makes the conversion a lot better. So what I do on this page is I uncheck or um, untick all of those and just ask for the email address. So it's actually an easier form to fill out. It's a lot, lot simpler. So all they need to do is fill out the email address and then sign up for free. 
Then on the next page, once I've got the email address and I've delivered the offer, it's going to be prompting them for their email address, uh, their, um, their password uh, to actually set up the account. So it's on the next page that they're gonna see this. So it actually helps them step-by-step uh, -step convert them through. Any additional settings, uh, any requirements or service agreements that you wanna put in here, you can actually use here. Um, and then again, order bumps. I'm not gonna cover this uh, in this video. I, I don't use an order bump for a free product, but if this was a paid product, you could then offer uh, in the checkout box here uh, an order bump, which just means like, do you want to add this offer to uh, the current checkout? Um, and it's a good tactic if, if you're just adding something uh, for a, a small upsell, uh, and then that obviously are upsells, upsells and downsells that we will cover at a later date. So all you need to do is click save and then click preview. Once you're happy with um, how your offer presents, you've got to try and keep it, in my opinion, as simple as possible to try and increase that conversion. But all the pre-selling of an offer or of a product should either be done on the sales page or even in a sales video prior to them actually landing on this offer. So it's not gonna convert too well if you just send out an offer link. You have to actually do all the promotions and all the pre-selling before they actually land here. So hopefully that helps and you've got a quick idea and an overview of how to build out a checkout page or an offer within Kajabi to try and get the highest conversions possible. Now, if you do wanna check out this offer, you can head on over to timpeatman.com forward slash Kajabi, where if you sign up to Kajabi using my link, I will grant you this offer immediately so you can actually walk through this course. And if you do stick around to become a paying member of Kajabi and know it and love it like I do, I will grant you a second offer. It's called Kajabi Sales Page Templates, where I'm going to grant you another offer where you can just simply download sales page templates from uh, the course and then upload them into your Kajabi and then just populate them. And these are the same sales page templates that I use for my business and they're the ones that convert the highest. So it's just another thank you from me to you. And full disclosure, this is an affiliate link. So if you do become a paying member of Kajabi, part of your payment comes back to me in support of this channel at no extra cost for you. So hopefully you found value in this video and I look forward to seeing you again on another one real soon.